one. Now, the Warriors and Suns have begun in Phoenix, and Golden State is in front, 14 to 8. We'll send it to Dick Enberg and Steve Snapper Jones for the call of the game right after these messages. Barkley, body on body, and he gets around Houston to score his sixth point. He made a Paul Westfall with the Celtics. The first step is critical for Barkley, and he's able to get that step and get by Houston and come out. Turn out from outside, that was George. Johnson blowing by Sprewell. There's A.C. Green. What a scramble. And it's Barkley. Who else? And a foul. Well, if you're going to have a scrum like that, it just figures that Barkley would be the man who brings out the ball. There were several people that thought they had his hands flapping all over the place, and somehow Barkley picks it up off the floor, picks up the foul, has a chance for the three-point play. Leads all scores with eight. This one would cut the Warriors' lead to one. They had a 10-point advantage with a little over two minutes left in the first quarter. They got that advantage by attacking. They Gambling now on Barkley with a fadeaway. Now Gatling trying to stop. Well, they're trying to make sure that they make Barkley pop that ball up. Dan Marley finally. One ball, and Oliver Miller snatches the rebound. To Barkley. To Barkley. And he fouled and has a kick. On both sides. And this is great recognition from Kevin Johnson. Barkley knowing he has an advantage over Keith Jennings. Misses the first, but gets the second. And that's where Barkley is hurting them. Picking up. All felt that we were going to be the NBA champions. So these two are really sparking the way they did in game one. And their teams who throughout the year had a much better record in head-to-head -head with the Eastern playoff team. Kevin Johnson, perhaps who misses Hardaway most of all. They had such a special one-two rhythm. They account in part for why his scoring numbers are down this year. Barkley underneath a wide open left. Now Barkley him such a complete player, the MVP a year ago. Barkley is able to see the floor, and he knows where the double teams are coming from. Very well. Firing the tray. Rebound, Barkley. For Charles to Marley. Dick Stace puts the cap on it. He's got eight and a quarter, and then they don't stop the ball. You have to stop the ball, or otherwise you see Marley getting two. with five seconds on the clock. Over Gatlin. Well, <laughs> falling away. <laughs> Barkley Rewell backs his way in and then saves. And that's where Don Nelson wants to see him. Shooting, going. Nelson has always uh, been uh, an advocate of playing up and down basketball since he came to the West Coast. And uh, this is perhaps his best team. Barclay's what makes Weber so great. But you watch Barkley down on the box against Chris Gatling. That's supposed to be illegal for the offensive player. Barkley telling Gatlin, hey. Nolan losing it, and Barkley with those quick hands sets up Marley. At the same height, body built, 6'5", 250. Now it's Barkley against Barkley Jr. And the old man and this is how you do it. Been successful in keeping Charles Barkley out of the paint for most of this game. They've made him a jump shooter, but he has been true to the mark, and he's got a quiet 20. The Warriors still have a chance if they can keep the Sun shooting the ball out on the perimeter. they got to keep Barkley from rolling inside and Kevin Johnson from getting inside, getting free throws as well. 